Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. This is my Great Pyrenees Mella and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips for when you bring home your Great Pyrenees. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first tip is going to be keeping to a schedule. So make sure you have a set schedule before you bring home your Great Pyrenees. That way the day goes nice and smooth and your Great Pyrenees has a consistent schedule that they'll always be following. It will just make training a lot easier. It will make them not it will make potty training a lot easier. It will just be so much easier for them and a lot easier for So you. tip number two is going to be keep training sessions short. So Great Pyrenees are very stubborn or not necessarily stubborn, but they do get bored super easily. So a five minute long training session is going to be very boring for them. So doing like two minute training sessions where you just work on a couple of commands throughout the day and have multiple training sessions spaced out throughout the day will make training a lot easier and it will motivate your Great Pyrenees a lot more. So they'll be more willing to want to do things. So tip number three, that is going to be work on your recall. So recall may not seem like a big deal to work on when as puppies, but you want to start working on it as soon as possible and as soon as you get your puppy because this will make recall training a lot easier. They'll already have the foundations and recall can save lives. So make sure your dog has a recall. So start working on recall with your Great Pyrenees. Just calling their name whenever they're around the house and encouraging them to come to you when you're outside and they're on like a long leash, calling their name and encouraging them to come to you and then rewarding will be super good and it will make training them super easy and set a nice foundation. So number four is going to be hand feeding. I actually made a video that you should go check out on why you should hand feed your Great Pyrenees, but to sum things up, you should hand feed your Great Pyrenees because it will strengthen your bond it will build engagement with your dog so when you hand feed your puppy that you just got they'll be more engaged training will be a lot easier and you won't have these behavioral issues or problems as often as you would if you didn't hand feed hand feeding also prevents things like resource guarding or getting or like consuming the food too fast so number five is going to be socialize your great pyrenees puppy to as many things as possible one thing to remember is socialization does not just mean going out and letting your dog meet every single dog or going up to every single dog they see or going out and letting your puppy go up to every single person they see. Socialization is where you get that puppy used to that environment to where that environment becomes normal to them. And it also is good to socialize them to things that you wouldn't think of, like a vacuum cleaner or socializing them to people wearing hats or certain things. So you want to make sure you socialize them to as many things as possible. I would definitely recommend looking into like a socialization checklist. That way you can check off things that you have socialized your puppy. So number six is going to be provide a lot of mental stimulation. Mental stimulation for a puppy is super important, especially for Great Pyrenees who get bored. So providing a lot of mental stimulation and providing a lot of toys for them to play with. My favorite toy is the Kong toy. So giving dogs stuffed Kongs is super great and it does give them a lot of mental stimulation that they need. Tip number seven is going to be get them used to their feet being touched. This is super important when it comes to Great Pyrenees and just any dog in general. You want to work on touching their eyes, their face, their feet, clipping their nails, grooming them, messing with their ears, lifting up their gums to check their teeth. So that way they're used to brushing their teeth. This is super important, especially at a young age, because they are very easy to deal with at a young age. So when you start teaching these things and start getting the puppy used to their feet being touched and stuff, it will be a lot easier for your vet. It will make vet appointments a lot easier and it will also be a lot easier for dogs that are going to be around children. That way the dog doesn't freak out if a child touches its foot. So tip number eight is going to be keep your Great Pyrenees puppy on leash. So a lot of people when they get puppies, they'll just let the puppy run around the house all over the place. And this is where a lot of behavioral issues start to form, like ripping up carpet or getting into socks, stuff like that, um, or messing with dogs. So when you keep your puppy on leash, it makes it easier to control them. If you have to get their attention, you can use the leash. It will just also make sure to narrow down your puppy's area. I also would recommend getting a puppy playpen or having a room where your puppy can play and stuff like that. So number nine is going to be start your training early. You don't want to overwhelm your puppy by doing too much training in one day, but you do want to start early. Training starts 
the day you get your puppy. You want to make sure that your puppy doesn't do anything bad. So teaching them what is appropriate and what's not appropriate, teaching them how to sit, teaching them how to come, teaching them their place command, getting them used to crate training, all that, that training starts the second you bring your puppy into your new home. And number 10, tip number 10 is going to be have everything planned out before you bring home your Great Pyrenees puppy. A lot of people might get a little overwhelmed and it might be like so overwhelming and you're just so excited that you forget to plan certain things out. So I definitely would recommend planning things out, like whether you're going to crate train, when your puppy's going to eat, scheduling bathroom breaks, scheduling who's going to take what, so like who's going to take the puppy out at this time, who's going to take the puppy out at that time. Plan everything out. This will make training your dog, this will make your dog's life a lot easier. But that is going to be all for this video. That is 10 tips I would recommend for when you bring home your Great Pyrenees puppy. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time.